little ones, this is your Uncle Jasbo with another bedtime story. The Three Little Pigs. Once upon a time in the land of Oopapadow, there lived three little pigs. One of them was very cool, another was more on the commercial side, and the third was definitely square. One day, as the three little pigs were taking five, they heard that a big bad wolf was making the local scene on a one-nighter. And knowing that his approach signaled danger, they immediately set about the business of constructing shelter. The square little pig swung a quick GI loan, and in cut time, threw up a real frantic bungalow, complete with wall-to-wall -wall floors and a TV antenna. The commercial little pig laid out for a few bars, and then moved into a prefab joint out of the high rent district. But the cool little pig goofed all together, and at the last possible minute built himself a real purple light shack out of clarinet reeds and scotch tape. Well, sir, the big bad wolf blew in as advertised, and the first place he went looking for action was to the shack of a third little pig. And applying his hairy knuckles to the door, he laid down a crazy paradiddle and said, Man, it's a raid. Jack said the pig, it's after closing. Don't hand me that jazz, the wolf said. Open up. Sorry, said the pig, you've got to make reservations. Charlie, said the wolf, if you don't open that door, I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. Just tell me one thing, said the pig. What condition is your lip in? Enraged at this impertinence, the wolf came on like Joshua, the wall came tumbling down, and in no time at all, the little pig was really gone. The following day, the wolf knocked at the door of the second little pig. Who calls like, said the pig. Never mind, said the wolf. Open the portal and give me some skin, pig. Or give me some pig skin, as the case may be. Not by the hairs on my chinny chin chin, said the pig. Bless my soul, said the wolf, it's dizzy. No, it ain't, said the pig. Well, oh, then it must be uh, jazz book, said the wolf. Wrong again, said the pig. Tell you what, said the wolf, I'll just peek through your keyhole. In a pig's eye you will, said the little pig, which angered the wolf so much that he forthwith blew the joint down and swallowed up the pig. The next day, the wolf fell by the domicile of the cool little pig and rapped on the door. Have no fear, he said. Big Joe is here. Man, said the pig, you've had it. Blow. Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. I understand there's a session going on here today, said the wolf. I'd like to sit in. I'm hip, said the pig. If you'll just slide down the chimney as per instructions in the script, I'll really give you something to sit in. At this, the wolf leapt to the roof, and in so doing, dislodged the brick, which fell down the chimney and clanged against the great iron pot in the fireplace. What was that? the wolf shouted. E flat, said the pig, and man, it's your chorus. Fall in. And fall in, the wolf did. Down the chimney and into the boiling pot. The little pig clapped the cover on the pot, and let it simmer for 48 over a low flame. When at last he lifted the cover, he smiled broadly. Ah, he said, my favorite soup, cream of nowhere.